we're going to show you guys how this works. The way this, this was uh, built is that it ties directly into Wasatch. So as you look at the films here, you can see on the leading edge, we have a QR code and then every, I think it's two feet or so, you've got cut marks. When you start out with this, what you want to do is position the knife of the cutting head directly over this first cut mark. So it is worth noting that Wasatch generates the leading edge and the trailing edge in case something were to happen with one of these barcodes, but that all needs to be set specifically up front. So we like to work with reading the, uh, the leading edge. So we're gonna use the control panel. Steve, you might wanna slide on the other side of me here. You're gonna get in there nice and tight. I'll move it out of the way, but that mark is what we're looking to hit with the, uh, the tip of our blade here. So you can just jog it forward. The reason for that is we have an offset set in the software so that when we, when we hit the QR code camera button on the user display, the camera is going to position itself right over the QR code. It's going to retrieve the appropriate cutting file that we have on our flash drive down here. And then everything's going to turn on and it's going to start cutting. So here we go. That's the vacuum engaging, which is holding the film down on top of our vacuum bed. And now it's gonna cycle and look for all of its cut marks. On this particular cut, we have a radius of 0.3 assigned. So you'll notice the pen is staying down for the entire cut, which helps us pick up a lot of speed. You can turn that function off and then at every single corner you're going to see the knife blade come up, readjust and go back down. So we prefer to run with a slight radius in the corner to speed up our cutting. about two or three rows away from reaching the end of what it already read in on the cut marks. Next what you're going to hear is the pinch clamps coming down and advancing the entire film and carpet forward and then it should be looking for the next set of cut marks automatically. So this should be our last cut path. There's the pinch clamps coming down. It's going to advance forward. Now, because this is all one long six foot run, you'll look at the uh, QR camera head and it's looking for the next round of cut marks automatically. Okay, and here we go with the second round of cutting. 